But we really got a quite different situation in this next person. Uh, this is a posthumous uh, induction, and it has an interesting caveat that, that we learned just prior to 1972 when they passed uh, the Title IX issues that allowed women to participate in high school, college sports, basically government grants, etc., and changed the role of women's sports so that they could publicly compete. There was a situation here in Leroy and, and Santini's here, and he was part of this. There was a young lady named Rochelle Wilson, who was a 1970 graduate here in Leroy. This is gonna sound weird because there weren't any track teams for women, but she was a three-year track star here in Leroy from 68 through 70. She was allowed to practice with a boys-only track team during those three seasons, and her sprint prowess led her to be known as Wonder Woman, way before the other one. The all-male high school track team selected her as captain to pay tribute to her talent and work ethic that was not allowed to be displayed in competitive interscholastic sports at the time. It wasn't until 72 that females could play in high school sports. This was only made possible by a fellow grand known as Title IX. Fellow 1970 classmate, Tommy White, I don't think he's here today, I know he's visiting in the area, stated the following. She was a great athlete, a great person, but almost no one except the people from our school knew that because the only place she could display her talents was on the playground. Michelle, known as Willie, unfortunately missed out on what was now called Title IX, which requires colleges to give scholarships to men and women on an equal basis. No doubt Willie would have received an athletic scholarship. Michelle was president of the Leroy Girls Athletic Association, active in school activities as a student council, newspaper, school yearbook, and model UN. Following high school, this is very important, she joined the Army, served her country. She moved to Alabama, had a daughter, Naomi, and they lived quietly. Unfortunately, she died of lung disease, which as I understand it, she acquired by fighting fires in the Mideast while she was in the service. Tommy White, as I said before, and his classmates established an annual award in Rochelle's name in 2018 which is displayed and located in the entrance of the high school on the South Street campus here. The inscription on the plaque reads as follows. Michelle Willie Wilson, Memorial Award given to the Leroy class of 1970, is awarded to the female, female member of the Leroy High School graduating class who consistently displays hard work, unselfishness, a positive attitude, her motivated work ethic, and behavior makes both herself and those around her better. There's an anecdote to this thing that came from, um, what the heck was the guy's name? Ah, choked on that. Anyway, there was a story that Don arranged a single meet with her against another school with a woman that was also ready to compete, and they had five or six events and Willie won them all. <coughs> this is a great American, a great Leroyan. We're sorry she's not here, but we're gonna honor her by putting her in the Hall of Fame. Willie Wilson. 